Hey, if you're calling cancel and expired listings and you've noticed that this market is starting to heat up and there's less and less like in our market, this video is going to give you a few different tips and techniques of how to, one, increase the amount of appointments you're getting even though the leads are starting to uh, slow down in quantity, two, how to actually reach out to people when others aren't, and three, how to drive value out of the prospects that you should be spending 80% of your time on. Be well. 8911. When you do your, your property dialer, same thing with you, uh, Surreal, and you're using Vulcan, okay? Do the optional filter. And instead of just doing today, always do the last three days. Because there's, there's one third to one half of the leads. Call each, you, you, and usually it takes you about 20 minutes to call the full. So if there's 20 properties, the 30 properties that come available to the, the market in a day, then that means that it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to hit all the fresh. Yeah. If there's one third to half, add the last two days. So every single fresh, you're hitting three times, which is going to be more than the average agent. If, if, if there's getting more calls, what are you going to do? You got to make, you got to be the one to hit some more. Right? If you want to win, increase the amount of times. If, if everybody's calling them more and you got 20 people calling them once, then you be one of the three people that calls them three times. Increase your chances. Mm -hmm. That's smart. And, all, and all you have to do is every day, instead of just doing the single day and going, oh man, there's a lot less, go back two days. And then hit the not contacted ones. Or just, just yeah, the ones that you haven't, because when you contact them, you're moving them into a different bucket or you're throwing them in the trash. So yeah. they're being pulled from the list. When they're going active, they're being pulled from the list. So do the last three days and then tomorrow do the last three days. And then the next day do the last three days, because then what happens is you're hitting every single lead three times, which increases your chance to be successful. And you haven't increased the amount of time that you're spending prospecting. Then go back and start working your pipeline. So like, look, the ones you really, 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 really want to hammer right? The ones you really want to hammer. You want to go back basically from April of last year to, to February of this year. You guys should spend, be spending 80% of your active outbound time to the properties that didn't sell from April of last year to February of this year. Why? That's when the market peaked and just was coming down. Yeah. Anybody that was on the market there, it was like, ah, you know, the market sucked. Whoop, we're back, baby. We're back. And enthusiasm and energy. That's where you're going to find the paychecks. Every single nurture that you've had in your pipeline, write this shit down, man. Every single nurture that you've had in your pipeline for the last six months, <laughs> Go back into KV Core and call all of them. Hey, I just wanted to give you an update. And, and by the way, take your whole week. I mean, like literally 80% of your prospecting time, make it from April to February and just relentlessly hit those. And the message is, hey, last year sucked. You got hit. This is your window of opportunity. You wanted multiple offers. You wanted that. Oh, we're, it's, 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 it's back. This is your window of opportunity. If we can get you your price or more and we can line up the perfect timing because I can get you lease backs now. I can get you extra time in the office. I can get you the unlimited contingency timeline extension for, for a replacement property. I can get you all that again. Right? <clears throat> That's where your opportunity is going to be. The people that just didn't sell, we still want to hit those people because it still could have been an agency problem. But most likely, if it's not selling again right now, it's either price or it's condition or it's agent. Price and condition takes time. Go back to all these other people. There's a lot of people that are thinking about selling. It's April. We should have been hitting those about a month ago, maybe earlier. But right now, 80% of your prospecting time should be April. April expired and cancels to February. Add the two extra previous days. So always call the last three days. And every day you're hitting the last three days. So you got this rolling pipeline where you're hitting people three times and then not the fourth and it falls off. Yeah, smart. You got, 
Saturday and Sundays. Listen, most of these leads are being called by ISA companies. Yeah, I got a call the other day from my mom's house in Arizona, and it was terrible. It was like a ISA with a they're garbage, and thick accent. It was just it was bad. Look, if 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 you're struggling to call on Saturday and Sunday because you're working Monday through Friday, then take Thursday off and call Saturday for three hours. Surreal got a surreal got a, a phenomenal call five thirty Saturday afternoon, but Saturday and Sunday the inside agent the inside sales agents don't work. Shift some of your prospecting time to Saturday. Shift it to Sunday. You face less competition. People are not in work mode. They're not getting all the telemarketers are off Saturdays and Sundays. Be the be the person. And by the way, just by working there, when they pick up the phone, yeah, there's going to be like, you're calling me on a Saturday, but there's going to be a lot of people like, wow, you're calling me on a Saturday. You work hard, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I outwork all the competition. This is what I do. I'm calling you because it's is a better time. Right? You're right. I think a lot of the business I've gotten in the last couple of weeks have been me, I call it just like squeezing like the fruit, you know, squeezing the lemon is just like trying to get more people out of the previous conversations. And um, what I, something I've noticed is you get a little anxiety calling people kind of back. Sometimes you're like, oh, I don't know if they'll remember me. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. But usually, at least for my, the people I put in my pipeline, those are all people I've had somewhat decent conversations. I don't really put you in my pipeline if you're not like at least cool. So usually the people are cool, you know, and it's kind of just my fear that's getting in the way versus like, you know, when I actually get on the phone with them, they're fine. Yeah, it's a it's it's a very very strong percentage fear base. And by the way, you're not a, it, it's not like I'm immune to it, right? I I would go through the same thing like, "Oh, what if they what if they don't remember me? What if they don't like me?" And at the end of the day, it all goes back to do you want your do you want to build a real estate team and be a very successful real estate owner or not? Because it like let's let's be really brutally honest. If you can't not go